Hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Welcome, welcome to your English class. How are you doing? Good. Bad. I'm very good, teacher. I am fine, teacher. You gotta be happy. You gotta be smiley, right? Because this is your English class. This is the moment for you to learn, to practice. I have received your homework. Thank you for your homework. Thank you for your audio. I really liked listening to your audio and um, correcting your mistakes, right? Los que aún no me mandaron el audio no saben cómo están con sus verbos, ¿verdad? Los que sí ya me los mandaron ya tienen sus observaciones y ya tienen sus notas, right? Um, okay, okay, Brian, no problem. I understand. Entonces, y, well, I'm very happy. Very happy. ¿Eh? Are you ready to start? Are you ready? Yes. Estamos ready. Estamos listos. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm ready. Vamos a comenzar yes. entonces con attendance. Let's call, let's call attendance. Let's see here. Hey, my internet, it's kind of slow too. Bueno, mientras los demás se conectan, vamos a pasar a la asistencia rapidito. Por si no me han mandado el audio, les sugiero que me lo envíen, por favor, a más tardar mañana. Ok. Teacher. Sí, teacher. Yes. One question. Eh, yo no pude recibir la clase el día viernes porque tuve problema, bueno, asunto de, de trabajo. Entonces, este, me comuniqué con un compañero que amablemente me explicó, pero yo el audio que usted solicitaba lo mandé al grupo, no sé si está bien o había otro número. Te contesté en el grupo. No recuerdo, es que no me no he chequeado muy bien, por lo mismo, pues le digo, por trabajo, por, por política empresarial no puedo uh -huh. tener el teléfono en la mano. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, no, no me he fijado si está su número por ahí. ¿Tu nombre, por favor? Eric Martínez. Vale, Eric, voy a verificar porque debo de haberte contestado y debo de haberte puesto nota, pero puede ser que okay. se me haya escapado. Igual tú, um, Gladys, ya vamos a verificar, Gladys, ¿ok? Ok, thanks. My sure. pleasure, let's start, ¿sí? Um, yo igual tengo una duda. Eh, no, no sé bien cómo, de qué se trata la actividad. Guys, eh, con gusto te explico, pero uh, este tiempo es muy valioso. Entonces, cort brevemente es un audio donde tienes que utilizar los verbos eh, explicando what's your schedule like. Schedule es horario, entonces tú vas a especificar tu horario usando tus acciones, verbos de acciones con la hora, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I get up at 5 eh, a.m. in the morning, then I take my shower, etc. Ok. Ok, thank you. My pleasure. Let's start. Abigail, Noemi, Martinez, Martinez, are you there? Abner, Itiel, Cano, Silvestre. Ana, Gabriela, Coreas, Martinez. Azucena, Bera, Elizabeth, Muñoz. Brian Edwin Flores Contreras. Present teacher. Oh, ya me había afligido. Ok, uh, let me see. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. Edgardo Antonio Fajardo Polanco. Here I am, teacher. Thanks. Elena Gabriela Jovel Valle. I am here, teacher. Glad to know. Eric Mauricio Martinez Cabrera. Present, teacher. Welcome to your class. Gladys Elizabeth Justiniano Durán. Present, teacher. Ya verifico, mi, si le contesto, oiga. Ok. Va. Y Helene Dalia Ramos de Escalante. I am here, teacher. 
All right, I'm happy to hear that. It is Elena Ventura Martinez. Here, teacher. Perfect. Jessica Marielos Montes Gomez. Joana Abigail Flores Diaz. Jose Fernando Hernandez Garcia. Present. All right. Juan Rafael Esquina Aguilar. Katie Abigail Montano Rivas. Present. Kimberly Janet Fuentes de Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Here I am. All right, Nelson. Oscar Alberto Aguila Romero. Rebecca Eunice Hernandez Rodas. Rosemary Beatriz Ramirez Ometa. Sofia Elizabeth Perez Ruiz. Veronica Lisette Marroquín de Santos. Oh my God, qué ausentes tenemos ahora. Verónica Lisette Marroquín de Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Vilma Heidi Cortez Beltrán. Here I am, teacher. Please, thank you. Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. I'm here. Good job, Miss. Good job. Otra vez, gracias a los que enviaron su tarea. Responsibly, very responsible people. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver, estábamos viendo schedule. Remember? Scheduled. What's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es tu horario? Repeat, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Excellent. What's your schedule like? A ver, eh, hubieron algunas correcciones, ¿verdad? So, no estamos hablando de schedule. No estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Ahí estamos usando los uh, verbos de acción. Ya puntualmente las acciones. Acuérdense que el verbo to be solo es para hacer o estar. Gracias. Entonces, y ahí ya sería levantarse. How do you say levantarse? Get up. Get up. Get up. Y usted va a decir, get up. I get up, get up at 5 a.m. Ok. Usted no va a decir, I am get up. No, ahí no, porque no estamos usando el verbo to be. Estamos usando I verbos up. de acción ya. I get okay. up. Then... Right? I go to work. I go to work at 8 a.m. Dando la hora, right? Especificando. Okay. Any questions? Do we have any questions? Can we start the class? Are you ready? Yes or no? Yeah. You completed, yeah. Could yes. you completed the platform, everybody? Section go. Uh huh. Section two is complete. Yes. Okay. Yes. Vamos a tener cinco minutos de práctica. Vamos a tener cinco minutos de práctica. Atención. Vamos a usar yes no questions y vamos a usar information questions. You have to identify what is a yes no question. Si es un yes no question, voy a iniciar con do o voy a iniciar con does. Si es con do, puedo usar do I, do you, do we, do they. Si es con das, sería solo con las terceras personas. Does he? Does she? Does it? Ok. Si es un information question, la información comenzaría, la pregunta iniciaría con una palabra de información. Un WH question. Por ejemplo, what? What time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast okay or when la otra que habíamos visto era when cuando when do they drive to work when do you have vacation okay let's okay. start ladies and gentlemen let's start pueden contestar todos por favor okay okay my question is Do you work? Yes, Hello. I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I no, do. I don't. I don't. 
No, I don't. Excellent. Do you study? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Does your friend study English? Yes. No, no, she doesn't. Yes. No, she doesn't. Los demás, no los escucho. Yes, he does. Yes, he doesn't. Yes, yes, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Doesn't is negativo. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Okay. Yes, he does. No, Do you... she doesn't. She doesn't. Okay, thank you, Elena. Do you go to the beach? In December. Mm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Invite me. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> do you do you go to the gym? No, yes, I, I don't. don't. No, I don't. Yes, no, I don't. Does, does your best friend go to the gym? No, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, yes. He no. does. No, she does. She does. Nuevamente, la respuesta es, yes, he does, or yes, she does, or no, he doesn't, or no, she doesn't. Nada más que eso, no me incluyen nada más. Next question. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I speak a little bit. Yes. Does, does your best friend speak in English? Yes, he does. Jose Fernando, I don't hear you. Veronica, I don't hear you. Vilma, make microphone, Vilma, microphone. Ok, ok, es que algunos no han activado el micrófono, eso es, por eso no los escucho a todos. Ok, cuando respondan, activan su micrófono, please. Ok, ok, ok. Escucharlos. Ok, ok. What time do you get up every day? At 7 in the morning. I get up at 7 in the I get up five o'clock in the morning. I get up around eight a.m. I get up six at morning. I get up four a.m. o'clock. Okay. Thank you so much for your answers. Corrections. Corrections. A. La letra A. A, B, A, A, como cuando dicen en español, ¿verdad? A, ah, sí, A, M, M, A, 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 M, A.M. Si, si nos cuesta, entonces, in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Entonces morning. puede decir, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Or, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. in the morning. Okay. In the morning. In the Otra, morning. la preposición que usamos con la hora. ¿Cuál es la preposición que usamos con la hora? It is. At. 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 
Siempre que van a decir la hora at para 18. una actividad, at, at, at 7 a.m., at 6 p.m., etc. Ok. Ok. What time do you have lunch? Go! I have a lunch around... I lunch at 1 p.m. p.m. At 1 p.m. 1 p.m. A ver, Edgardo, repeat, Edgardo Fajardo. <laughs> I have lunch at 1 p.m. Correcto, correcto, ¿verdad? Es que no, no creas, no me pongas a prueba. Ok, vaya. Es que sí, hubieron unos ejemplos que sí les faltó el, el verbo, ¿verdad? Con el, el breakfast, con el lunch, con el dinner. Entonces, have es el verbo ahí, ¿ok? I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have dinner. Ok, next question. When do you go to the supermarket? When do you go to the supermarket? Go. I go, I go to the Everybody, go, 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 go. I love it. I love it. Uh, oh, can't. I go to the supermarket. Oh, let me hear Eric Mauricio. Repeat, Eric. When do you go to the supermarket? Uh huh. When you ready? Perdón, comadre. The question. My question is, when do you go to the supermarket? When did you go to the supermarket? Uh huh. When do you go to the supermarket? No. Let me hear Jessica Montes. I go to the Sunday supermarket. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I go to the supermarket on Sunday. Okay, repeat. I go. I go to the supermarket. Everybody, I go. I go to the supermarket. 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 Tú, de, tú es de dirección. Yo voy a. Siempre van a usar tú. Go to the supermarket. I go to supermarket. Go to supermarket. I go to supermarket. To the. To the. I go to the supermarket. Correct. Porque usted va a el supermercado. Ese D, ese artículo T A T H E T H E. Significa el, la, los, las. Entonces, el supermercado, de supermarket. Al supermercado, to the supermarket. Okay? I go to the supermarket on Sundays, on weekends, on Saturdays, etc. Thank you for the practice, guys. Thank you for the practice. Espero que sí se pongan a practicar ustedes, ¿verdad? Así con el espejo, ¿verdad? Viéndose a la party, haciéndose preguntas y... Right? Right, Nelson? <laughs> Preguntas? Escuché a alguien que me iba a hacer una pregunta, no? Estamos bien. Ok, entonces vamos a entrar ya de lleno al material, chicos. Gracias por el, por el calentamiento. Ya, ya calentamos. Ya nos recordamos un poquito. Y pues vamos a compartir entonces nuestra plataforma. Let me check. Bueno. Tell me if you can visualize my screen. Can you visualize my screen? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Yes. You can. You can. Okay. Yes, I great, can. Great, great, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me zoom it a little bit. All right. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary talking about places in houses and apartments. Let me check. There you go. It's a little slow. All right. Bueno, esto es lo que vimos la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Esto es lo que me ha pasado, permítanme. 
se ha movido. One second. There you go. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment. Deme un segundo, chico, que me está fallando acá esto. One second. Technical problems. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, vamos otra vez. One second. Sorry about that. Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No. Okay, let's just stop. Let's pause this video a little bit. I want to go back to the conversation. Can you see the conversation, guys? Can we practice this conversation? Yes, I can see. You can see? You can see? I okay. can see. Great. Yes, yes. Great. Vamos a, primero vamos a pulir pronunciación. Okay, guys, let's please repeat after me. Please okay. repeat. Guess, guess what? 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 I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. That's great. Great. That's great. 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 What's it like? What's it like? What's what? What's like? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it like? 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 What's like? What's it like? What's it like? What's like? What's it? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? Vamos a ver, slow motion. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it like? Nice. Repeat, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Uh, really, 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 it's really, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Is it, is it very big? Give me, give me a rising intonation because it's a question. Is it, is it very big? Is it very big? Is it very big? 
Uh, well, it has a big living room. No, it has a living room. Well, it has a big living room. Well, it has a big living room. Living room. A small bedroom. A small bedroom. A small bedroom. A small bedroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. 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 A bathroom. A bathroom. In a kitchen. 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 Okay. In a kitchen. In a kitchen. Where is it? Where is it? Is it? Is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it? Where 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 is it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice. 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 Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Does it does it have a view? Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Does it does it have a view? Does it have does it have a view? Yes, it does. 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 It has a great view. It has a great view of another apartment building. Of another apartment building. Of of. Another, oh. another, another apartment, 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 apartment building, 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 building. building. It has a great view of another apartment building. It has a great view of another apartment. Building. Apartment building. Dice que tiene building. una vista genial de otro edificio. Ok. All right. Any question? Any question on this conversation? On this vocabulary? In this case, that view, right? Is the place. Yeah, that's the that's the place. That's the address. Lakeview Drive. It's the address. It's like a boulevard. It's like if I tell you on Main Street, uh, um, on the corner of uh, Washington Avenue, for example. So Lakeview Drive is like an address. Any other question? No. No? No questions? Okay. How do you say apartamento? Apartment. 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 Okay. How do you say how do you say sala? Uh, living room. room. Living room. Okay. okay. Living. How do you say um Baño. Bathroom. 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 Okay. Bathroom. How do you Bathroom. say cocina? El lugar. Cocina. Kitchen. 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 How do you say dormitorio? Bedroom. 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 Okay. Bedroom. Bedroom. Guess what? ¿En qué contexto aplico yo? Guess what? 
Guess what? Yo uso guess what mean? cuando tengo um, when, I have, when I have interesting information. When I have interesting information for you, I can say, guess what? Ah, la otra persona sabe que algo importante, algo interesante viene. Okay? It's what? También la expresión well, para introducir una idea con elegancia. Well, it has a big living room, right? Yeah. Well, well, it makes you sound more elegant when you open an idea, okay? Well. 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 Well, por ejemplo, cuando me dicen la well. rutina, ¿verdad? Well, I get up at six in the morning, you know? Bien elegante, very formal. Well. Vamos okay. a practicar, okay? Teacher Caleb is going to play Linda's role and all my students are going to play Chris's role. Ready? Okay, ready. Give me your best pronunciation. On three, okay. two, one. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's right. like it's a like. What is it like? like? It's really beautiful. It's very bad. Is it very big? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, and a bathroom, right? A kitchen, you know. Where, Where, is, is, it? It? Where, is, it? Where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, oh nice. nice. Does it have a view? Does it yeah. have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me oh. see corrections. Okay. Tener, how do you say tener? Have. 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 No me lo pusen de otra forma Have. que no sea. Have. ¿Cómo? Have. No, 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 no. Have. 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 have have no please have have have, have. 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 Sofa, it is, pero cuando es pregunta, es set. Y es set tiene que ir con entonación hacia arriba. Where is it? 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 Is it? Ajá, is it? Is it? Where is it? Where is it? Perfect, perfect, guys. Perfect. Where is it? Además, estamos bien. Hagamos el switch. Entonces, participants will play Linda's role and teacher Caleb will play Chris's role. Three, two, one. Let's go. Guess what? Guess what? I have a new That's great. What's it like? It's it really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it's a big living room. A big living room. A big room. A room. A kitchen. Where is it? Oh, right. A living right. Nice. Does it have a view? Yes, yes. It has green hills. It's a very apartment building. Apartment. 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 Really. 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 Acuérdense que really, uh, you know, increases the adjective. Si era beautiful, it's beautiful, es hermoso, pero it's really beautiful, es realmente, ¿verdad? Okay. Really, 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 apartment. How do you say vista, paisaje? View. 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 V-I-E-W. View. 
View. View. Mm -hmm. What about what about what about you guys? Uh, do you live in a house or apartment? I'm living in a house. In a house. In a house. In a house. Say I live. I live in. I live. I live in the house. I am no. I, I am no. I, I live. El verbo aquí es the house. I live. I live. I live. I live in the house. I live in the house. I live in the in the my house. In the my house, no. In my house. In my house. I live okay. in my house. I live in my house. So I live in my house. Nobody lives in an apartment. No? No. No one? No. 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 Good, good for you. Good for you guys. Good for you. I'm very happy for you. Um, do you like your house? Yeah. Yes, I yes. like yes. my yes. my house. It's beautiful. Yeah, yes, I like or yes, I do? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I do. Remember, it's a it's a yes no question with do. Do you like your house? Yes, I do yes, like I my like house. Do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Repeat. Yes, I yes, do. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I, do. Yes, I, do. Yes, I like my house. I like, I like my, my house. house. Yes, I do. I like my house. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I like my house. I like my house. Repeat, yes, I do. I like my house. Yes, I do. I, do. I like my house. Yes, I do. I like my house. Yes, I do. I like my house. Yes, I do. I really like my house. Yes, I do. I really like my house. Muy bien, chicos. Okay, 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 okay. Does, does the person... Does your house have um, two bathrooms? What? Does your house have two bathrooms? Uh, one bathroom. Oh. Eso sería negativa. No. It. No. No. sería I. Ya no sería I porque quién es el sujeto? It. No, it no, it no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Right, <laughs> <Negative. laughs> no, it doesn't. Right, negative. Pay attention, pay attention. Third person, does, does your house have a living room? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, I. Yes, yes, I, yes. 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 I, I, I. No, 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 no. It's your house. Yes. It's your house. Yes, the house. object is it. It do. Yes. Yes, it. Yes, it. Yes, it have. It does. It yes, does. It okay. Does. <laughs> Das yes, está en la yes. pregunta, pues. Das yes. tenemos que usar en la respuesta, pues. Y si yo yes, le pregunto yes. con do, do tiene que usar en la respuesta. So, check okay. it out, check it out. Make the connections, make your analysis. Vamos con do. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes. Tu yes, propio. I do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. I do. No, I don't. You don't? Oh, no problem. I no do problem. not. Does, does, does your house, does your house have a garage? No. Yes. 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 No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Excellent job. Excellent. No, okay. Does, 
does your house does your house have second floor second floor no, no, it, doesn't. no it doesn't no it doesn't no it doesn't, no, it doesn't. do you have do you have do you have a refrigerator Yes, I do. Yes. 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 I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Good job, guys. Bueno, regresamos entonces. Uh, let's go back to, back to the platform. Big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a bueno, kitchen. Ya... Where is it? In... On Lake. Short answers. I would like eso es lo que estábamos practicando, ¿verdad? Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. And third person, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Remember, using does, does is in the question. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Negative? No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? House. The subject is it. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. For you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Repeat. Do you live in an apartment? 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 Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do the apartments have windows? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Does so Chris, Chris live in the house? <laughs> Watch the dog. Watch the dog. Hey, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Does the house I have a Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Thank you. Tengo una pregunta. Chris, Este, en la pregunta dos, ¿por qué en la respuesta es they? No it. Muy buena pregunta. La pregunta dice, do the bedrooms have windows? Ok, es importante siempre identificar el subject. Ok, yeah. en la primera pregunta el subject era you. Ok, como que yo se la hago a usted, ¿verdad? Do you live in a, ha live in a house? Do usted me that. dice, yes, I do. No, I don't. Pero en este caso el subject... En realidad no es un subject, es, es, es un noun, es, es un objeto, ¿verdad? Es the bedroom. Y la característica en este caso es que the bedroom es plural, tiene la letra S. Entonces estamos hablando de ellos, de los uh, dormitorios, right? Entonces, do the bedrooms have windows? Entonces, cuando el noun es singular, como en el ejemplo que está al lado, vamos a usar el uh, it, que es para singular. Por ejemplo, el que está al lado dice, does the house have a yard? Estamos hablando de la casa, de una casa. De una. Entonces, ahí sería it. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Caso contrario en este que estamos hablando, que es de bedrooms. Thanks. Quizás son dos, tres, cuatro, five, ten bedrooms. Entonces, él quiere saber si los dormitorios tienen ventanas. Do the bedrooms eh, have windows? Eh, the question. Yes. Entonces... Eh, ocuparíamos cuando es algo así en plural de correcto y hay que identificarlo es singular, it, nada más Ajá, correcto eh, hay okay. que identificarlo como les decía en la pregunta dice the bedrooms entonces cuando bedrooms. tú analizas the bedrooms 
tiene letra S. Ah, bueno, es plural. Entonces tú dices they. Y cada, en el otro, the house. The house es una. No tiene normal. S. Es Ajá. una casa. Entonces, it. ¿Ok? Ok. Sí. Yes. Oh, yes. que tenemos una dinámica con esto. Uy, sí, ya se nos va a acabar el tiempo, chicos. Entonces, vamos a lo último yes, acá. Yes, he does. Let's look at the question. Do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, they do. Or negative by saying no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, he does, or negative by saying no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Any question? No. Ah, ya entendimos el tema completamente así, al 100%. O sea, ¿es en serio, Elena? ¿En serio? <risa> Vamos, a <risa> Vamos a practicar. Va. Démosle la última practicadita, ¿verdad? Aquí, ¿verdad? All right. Vamos a hacer una dinámica, ¿ok? En esta dinámica, todos me tienen que ayudar. ¿Ok? Teacher Caleb les va a estar dando la respuesta. Fíjense que, que chivo yo, ¿verdad? Les voy a dar la respuesta. ¿Cuándo alguien les va a dar la respuesta, chicos? Yo les voy a dar la respuesta y ustedes hacen la pregunta. So, let me share, let me share. Ojo, tenemos que identificar, ¿ok? El subject, ¿verdad? Lo que yo pongo en la respuesta, en eso se tienen que basar. Yo les voy a dar acá, por ejemplo, let me see. Yes. Permítanme que quiero ver acá sus micrófonos. Ok. Yes, I do. Va. Give me a question, give me a question. Una pregunta que haga match con esa respuesta. ¿Qué pregunta aplicaría? Do you eat dinner? Do you eat dinner? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's totally correct. Do you eat dinner? Entonces, ya estamos listos para la dinámica. Todos pueden participar, por favor. Okay. Entonces, yo les doy la respuesta. Ustedes hacen la pregunta. Here we go. Do you have a cat? Wait, wait, wait. Tienes que ver la respuesta. Mira la respuesta. Ahora sí. 
What's the question? Um, um, your friend. I'm sorry. Uh, do your friend go to the gym? Revisemos ahí. Revisemos la. Tiene algo ahí, mis. Yes. Correcto. Does your friend? Does your friend? Does your friend? Ajá. Uh -huh. Go to the gym. Correct. Go to the gym. That's correct. Y la respuesta hace match porque es de tercera persona. Estoy diciendo, yes, she does. En este caso es, es she, ¿verdad? That's good. That's good. Aquí también puede haber dicho algo más específico como, does Sonia go to the gym? Por decirles algo, ¿ok? Pueden ser incluso más específicos. All right, next exercise, next question, participation, participation. Todos tienen que tener una pregunta lista. Voy a hacer así, así randomly. Voy a escoger uh, participantes, ¿ok? The answer is yes, it does. Ajá, yes, it does. Question. Do you like do is sister? not applicable. Do is not applicable because because the subject das. correct. Thus, uh huh. Does you like pizza? It's not possible. It's not possible because it is an animal. It's an object. It's a place. Not a person, me. Does your apartment is, is expensive? Lo que pasa que ahí estamos usando is. La, la pregunta ahí sería si el apartamento es caro. Is the apartment expensive? Aquí necesito action verbs. Verbos de acción. Acuérdense que pueden usar he, pueden usar she, pero en este caso es it. Yo ya les puse acá it. Entonces Does tienen que basarse en your... it. Does the house have a yard? Does your house have a yard? That's correct. That's correct. Hay alguien más me dijo otra. Eh, go ahead. Does your pets? Does your pets all in the morning? Correct. Does your pet, your pet, y'all, walk, walk, in the walk. Does your pet walk in the, in the what? Morning. In oh, the morning. morning. Does your pet walk in the morning? So we're talking about pets. We're talking about animals. We're talking about uh, places. Yes. Does your country. Yes. Does your country speak French? All right. So any type of question, any type of question. Let's go with the next exercise. Prepare your questions. Prepare your questions. Next answer is no. I What is the question? What can be a, a good question for this answer? You have a car. Repeat. You have a car. Correct. Do you have a car? Excellent, Miss. La respuesta es no, I don't. <laughs> okay. Next, Do next, next. Do you have a house? Do you have a house? Okay. Cambiamos entonces solo el noun. Do you have a house? No, I don't, ¿verdad? Maybe I, I rent. I rent. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? That's good. No, no, I don't. I understand. I understand my teacher Kalev's classes, you know. <laughs> next, next, next. ¿Quién más dijo yo? ¿Quién más? 
Vamos, practice. Cambiemos el have, usemos otro verbo. Do you eat before the class? Do you eat before your class? Hey, that's a good question. <laughs> Do you eat before class? No, I don't. That's me. That's me right there. No, I don't. I eat after my class. So around 10, 10, 15 p.m. I have my dinner. Imagine my schedule. My schedule is also tough. <laughs> it's really tough. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Muy bien, chicos. Good job. Vamos a ver. A ver. I'm Do waiting. we study English? Excellent. Do we study? Do we study English? Do we study English? Yes, we do. We study English Mondays to Thursdays, right? An English corporativo. <laughs> Any other question? Any other example? No more? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do we speak Spanish? Do we speak Spanish? <laughs> Thank you. Do we speak Spanish? Yes, we do. We speak Spanish. All right. Nice. Thank you. Okay. If you don't tell me more questions, I move to the next example. Okay. Fíjense esto. Ajá, dígame, Miss. Oh, está bien redactada. Sería, Does Mother Skelet live in his house? Es como una pregunta por usted que si su madre vive en su casa. Mi, su miss, madre de se le corta un poquito, Miss. ¿Me repito otra vez? Eh, la pregunta sería, Does, per, does perdón, Mother Skelet live in in his house. Ah, ah, entonces sería Das Caleb. Ahí vamos a usar un uh, nombre, un posesivo de nombre, ¿ok, Nish? Porque vamos a hablar de, de la madrecita de Caleb. Entonces sería ahí el posesivo. Das Caleb mother. Das Caleb mother live in his house with him. ¿Se entiende? Does Caleb's mother live in his house with him? Pero ¿Qué si la... No sería live así con S. No, es en este caso no. no. En este caso no. ¿Por qué, chicos? ¿Por qué no llevaría Pero aquí la S? Pero se ocupa en la, en la forma positiva para las terceras personas. Solo en la forma positiva. Y esta es un... Question. Esta es una pregunta. ¿Qué quiere decir que es una pregunta? No simplemente eso. Lo que pasa es que en una pregunta yo uso el das. Entonces, cuando yo uso el auxiliar, el verbo va normal. En una negativa yo uso el doesn't. Entonces, el verbo va normal. Chicos, qué buenas preguntas, qué buena práctica. Este, lastimosamente, siempre se me acaba el tiempo. La hora no me es nada suficiente. Y me regañan que me pase de una hora. Así que... Rapidito, rompiendo récord aquí con la asistencia, chicos. Abigail Noemi Martínez Martínez. I'm here. Thank you. Abner ETL Cano Silvestre. Ana Gabriela Coreas Martínez. Azucena Veralice Vela Muñoz. Jessica María Los Montes Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Joana Abigail Flores Díaz. Joana Abigail Flores Díaz, no, ¿verdad? Bueno, Juan Rafael Esquina Aguilar.
Oscar Alberto Águila Romero. Rebeca Unice Hernández Rodas. Y Rosemary Beatriz Ramírez Someta. Bye. Ok, chicos, cuidemos sus becas. Veo que hay muchos que se han ausentado. Cuiden su oportunidad, por favor. En, me tengo que despedir, guys. The time is off. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Be safe. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.